We're now ready to put all the pieces together. I'm once again going to clear some space for myself. This time I'm going to clear some space on the left, and I'm going to annotate how long this takes. I'm not recommending that you get rid of all of your annotations, I just don't have space on my tiny little screen where I'm recording to keep all these annotations. All right. So, we kind of divided the code into three chunks, which is really useful, by the way, to understand the code. We had this chunk, and remember the loop took log n, everything around it took constant time, so this is running in O of log n time. We've got this chunk, which was this weird divisibility chunk. We know it's running in O of n. We weren't super happy with this O of n bound. Uh, it is definitely an upper bound. It's a big O bound. Uh, but it kind of it kind of wobbles around. Sometimes this actually takes constant time. It goes just one iteration. Sometimes it goes n over two iterations. So it's a little ugly. It's sort of sawtoothed. Uh, but when we looked at this last loop right here, this one takes O of n squared log n time, and that's a that's a good bound. That's a tight bound. So that, that's going to dominate. I mean, this n squared log n is much bigger than this O of n. It's much bigger than this O of log n. And so in the end, the whole function runs in n squared log n time.